Nara ir fornir wonu kanawa ofa ir kanu wonu. Mother and I are getting out of this town. If you have any sense, you'll do the same. Up wak wak wo so soni a son of fornia sisa ya now of course. Si sair e fogo só no coso aéreo, sair canoa para no ir. It's sure to be more exciting than this dead place. Coni o que o ir cau e o cau e o atita o si a quani ni pauir. Pia ir uxa ir sinimi si sair rusta ata pafa o ir sumpu no coso ir toero. Si sair e fogoso no coso aéreo, sair canoa para no ir. O yo ir a papawa e si sair si si tu ir tog. O ir wak wak quinir si ir. O o tawa ir kupir kau ir nakau ir ip tuki. The pirates are Gal the Greater's men. He has holdings near here, and access to quite a lot of flyers, as you've seen. Pia uksair sinimi sisair rusta atapafawir sumpuno ko suir toeruk. Sisair ir fogoso no koso aerea, sair kanoa fwaranuir. Koni o kyo ir kawa ir wo kawa ir Watita osia kwani ni pawir. Out of our way, woman. In this town, we don't step aside for you. You step aside for us. The peasants of this village may cower before you, but I do not. If you are smart, you will apologize for your behavior and walk away. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> you think I won't hit a woman? You have to learn your place. This whole town has to learn its place. What are you looking at? This doesn't concern you. Too bad, because trouble just found you. What are you doing here? It's been a long time, Zhu. I haven't seen you since that night. I did as you asked. The child is safe. I made sure of that. I know. After we spoke, I followed you. I... I wanted to be sure she was given a good home. You did well, Hui. Hui and I knew each other long ago. She was a soldier and I... I needed her help. There was a child, an orphan. I knew we could find a good home for her. Yes, those are old worries. Thank you for your actions today. Even if these men were no real threat, just simple sailors frustrated at the shallow river that holds them here. There are pirates in the area, and they pose a far greater danger. You will likely encounter them, especially if you are the one I am waiting for. As Sagacious Zoo mentioned, my name is Hui. Tell me, young man, what is your master's name? I have waited here many years for the arrival of one special fighter. Your master, Sun Li, bid me to wait until you, his protege, came seeking information. So it's true. Master Li really is the Emperor's brother. 
I wish... I wish I had known. He is gone, isn't he? Taken by the Lotus Assassins just as he thought. He knew they were always searching. They are right to fear him and his legacy. The glorious strategist was certain the path to the Imperial City would bring you here. He was also very specific about how I present my information to you. You must be ready. I served under Sun Li and was one of a few soldiers he trusted enough to contact after Dirge fell. Li knew the events there would have great consequences. He told me of the weeks-long siege and how spirit monks were slaughtered so his brother could take their temple. It was madness. The Emperor killed the Water Dragon itself. The Water Dragon? The Shepherd of the Dead, a goddess of rebirth. To try and steal her power, to even think it could be attempted. Has any mortal ever shown such arrogance? There are many beings that exist beyond our experience. The heavens are governed by a celestial bureaucracy. Each facet of existence is managed by a specialized attendant. Most appear to have little influence, but some, like the Water Dragon, have a portfolio that grants exceptional status. She was said to have governance over the Great Wheel. She was not a maker, but all life that ended passed her gaze before returning to the Earth in another form. Sun Hai sought rebirth for his empire at the cost of the natural order. Her body was taken to the palace as a grim trophy of the power that ended the long drought. All the while, the people hailed the emperor as a hero, ignorant of the price. Even a god is not invincible. They have their place, and it can be challenged. Sun Li could not stop the slaughter of the spirit monks. He fled the battle with you in his arms. Most believe Sun Li fell at Dirge, a lie spread by the Emperor. A handful of us knew that he lived, and we also learned the terrible price of his rebellion. Li's wife was with child, his daughter born in the Imperial Palace while he was at Dirge. He never saw her. Within weeks of the siege, the Emperor had Li's family executed. <laughs> executed? Murdered? The Lotus Assassins were to cut them down. A mother and newborn child. I have no doubt that order came from Death's hand himself. He probably didn't think his family would be harmed, but even had he known, he might still have saved you. Li knows you have a destiny to fulfill. You're the last of your kind. The natural order has been disrupted. There is much to say, but first, I was instructed to impart some very specific knowledge. Your master was very clear. It is time to continue your training, and I am honored to add to the basics that Sun Li instilled. A brief description should reinforce the style you saw me use. Certain lessons had to be withheld until you were ready for the attention they will bring. Sun Li taught me so that I would teach you. I must train you in Spirit Thief. Magic and weapons tire you. Draw on them too much and you could be left defenseless. Spirit Thief restores your chi, prolonging your ability to fight or ignore wounds. It is especially useful when enemies are immune to basic martial attacks, when you must use magic or weapons. It can even immobilize a foe, allowing time to recover even more. This short lesson should be enough for now. Come speak with me in the tea house. We will talk of your master and more.